Today I fucked up by accidentally deleting 500 plus GB worth of memories with my GF. It is currently 4.52 AM as I'm writing this and this just happened. I haven't slept for like 2 days now and I decided to casually sort and clean stuff on my computer. As I'm selecting all of junk and unnecessary files I did not notice I also selected a folder where my GF saves all of our photos and videos since we first dated. She keeps this so that she can make like present presentation and so that we can look back. Then just hit delete on my keyboard while also pressing shift key. It is too late when I realized my FU. Now all the memories she kept are gone. I don't know how will I tell her what happened. I don't even know why my first response after realizing what I just did is to go straight to this reddit that I don't even read. Maybe too much r slash slash. Too long didn't read. Today I fucked up by trying to clean my computer by removing unnecessary files when I'm sleepy to accidentally deleting important folder. Edit, I told my GF and she said she already have a copy since she already started creating something for Valentine's. Thanks for all the suggestion anyways. Opus 99% of that it's likely very easily recoverable so long you turn it off and stop using said device. As you continue to use your device more and more the data will become forever lost. Get outside help do not do it yourself with software. If you try to recover it yourself it's important to recover it to a separate device so you don't overwrite it. Before you even try you need to make an image of the device in case you mess up. Thanks. Turn off the computer race app and visit slash r slash data recovery. Deletion done when I realize folder is missing. If you haven't done anything else since, they the basics first. Control plus Z is a magical combo that's pulled my ass out of oops hell many times. I'm laughing thinking about how everyone has really good answers because it's recoverable but what if op doesn't want to recover it. Thoughtful face. Today I fucked up by trying to get a sample for the vet. So I just popped to my bathroom to find blood-stained cat wee in my shower. One of my cats will use the shower as a loo if we don't close the shower door. So this was my first FCK up. I called the vet immediately and they want a sample, so I search everywhere for a pot suitable for cat piss transportation. Thankfully, I quickly found a takeaway mayonnaise pot and decide to wash it up but in my panic I used our hot tap which runs nearly boiling hot and scalds my hand. I live in the UK and our plumbing makes no sense. Anyhow to the crux of it all. I have just spent 10 minutes attempting to syringe blood-stained cat piss off the floor of my shower into a Nurofen for kids syringe, only to have it flick into my mouth when transferring it to a pot for the purpose of providing the vet with a sample, for their request. My partner is now mad at me because I swore. Personally I think a mid-volume exclamation of fuck is an appropriate reaction to diagnosing your cat with a UTI via the medium of taste. But still I am getting an earful, my hand hurts, I am covered in cat piss and I may be about to take the wrong cat to see the vet. TL, doctor injured and humiliated myself by flicking cat piss into mouth while collecting sample for the vet, partner mad about my reaction. The sad part is, it was probably all for nothing. The vet will need a clean sample direct from the source. The pee you gathered has been tainted by whatever else is on the shower floor. I had a kitty with bloody urine, and it turned out to be bladder cancer. Hope it is just a UTI in your case. I had to follow my dog with a bowl to get a sample. Poor thing had a bladder stone apparently. A cat would take some creativity for sure though. My partner is now mad at me because I swore. Really? Maybe tell them grown-ups swear sometimes is a very condescending voice. They apologized eventually. Grumpy so and so. It'd be doing a lot more than saying fuck in that situation. Embarrassed smiley face. I was surprisingly zen about it. Years of working in care I think. Embarrassed smiley face. I'd be swearing a hell of a lot more than just a single f-back slash ck if I was in your position. But then I am a flagrant potty mouth. Thankfully my partner doesn't care. 
this post right here officer, I'm so done with reddit for today. I'll go see what the crazy people are doing over on Instagram. May your scrolling be prosperous. Today I fucked up by reading another redditors today I fucked up and realizing I must take my secret to the grave. This has been going on for about a year now, but I just realized how badly I'm stuck because I read you slash palito de coco today I fucked up. Myself and two friends I convinced to help me have been supporting my best friend's Twitch stream for the past year. Originally it was just me, I would go in his stream and comment and then later that day ask how his stream went. He would rave about how he finally got one viewer. His passion and excitement for what he was doing was infectious and it got me so excited and happy for him. So I thought more viewers would make him more excited right? It got one of our mutual friends and even his wife in on it. Everyone when I tell you he was ecstatic. It's an understatement. He lost his mind that his community was growing. Over the next year or so he started paying people to make emojis and a logo for him. He dove headfirst into streaming, he bought a new PC, lights, a better camera, the whole works. The entire time I had totally forgotten that it was just me, our friend, and his wife watching. The hope that I gave him by setting up this little secret society of viewers caused him to spend nearly $3,000 on a streaming setup and digital content. I really didn't realize how much of a today I fucked up this was until I saw that post today. I can never ever tell him about this. I just have to hope the others keep my secret as well. Too long didn't read, I caused my best friend to spend $3,000 on stream equipment by forming a secret viewing group. Edit, here's his stream link for those who've asked. He mainly streams in the morning because he has a baby and an early job. Can we set up a subreddit with a secret society Twitch so we can all be in on this ruse together? Sounds like a fun-filled secret society to cause your friend to spend more dollar on streaming. I read that one and feel bad about not helping my friend that just started streaming. A guy I went to college with just started and I think it is normally just one or two people watching even after posting to his friends about it. Now I'm just trying to help him get his first few followers. Drop his Twitch then. This is so wholesome. Takes just one believer that one supporter for someone to have conviction in pursuing their hobbies and dreams. Will he get millions and millions of viewers? Maybe, maybe not. More likely not. But, your anonymous support probably means the world to him. Share his stream so that people can tune in. P.S. If he ever makes it big, you can come back to this post and be proud you were number one. You should link it here so others can help the ruse. Don't be shy, drop his Twitch so we can support him, too. Only if you're comfortable, of course. You're so sweet. You had good intentions, don't feel bad. 